<laughs> I did. Right? I did. No, not married, but... Um, but you, so what? You don't have the paper. That's right. You're cohabitating. Right. Exactly. And, and, and she's from there, Honey White Falls? Um, actually from uh, the Greece area. But we, you know, search the school systems and... and uh, well, you got really a package happy. already. Oh, yeah. How oh, old's yeah. the kid? Um, two children, 10 and 11. Look at you living in sin. I know. I know. Not bad, huh? Say, yeah, there's no, you don't need that thing. Right. <laughs> Two kids and you're good parents. You even found a place with the school. Honey, yes. it falls. No jive, and I have mentioned this. I, uh, in earlier part of my career, to uh, so, s put a little extra cake into the poker fund, I would DJ school dances. And I so I checked out a lot of schools. Honey, it falls were really good kids. Oh, it's this is a long time ago, though. Who knows what the hell? Very good really school good kids. Very good school. Very down to earth, um, but the school system's phenomenal. Anyway, Justin is here from the Cogswells. Justin's here because he has something called Operation Buildup, and that's something to help veterans. And go ahead and tell what you do. Yeah, that's exactly right. So we started Operation Buildup last year, and our goal is to offer veterans that may be going through difficult times assistance and we do that by surprising them with vehicles and complete home furnishings. Jesus Christ, vehicles? Yes, yes. So it's our belief that in order to live a successful civilian life, you need to have transportation to get to well, work and appointments. Pretty it's, important. It's a given, exactly. And as far as mentality is concerned, uh, especially for combat veterans, a lot only return home with enough furnishings, you know, to fit in a vehicle. So what we do is we do bank foreclosure cleanouts and take donations, and then we'll furnish their houses without them being there because there's a lot of veterans uh, sitting in an empty house or uh, struggling because they don't have transportation to excel in life. And I, I have to. I have to try to somehow censor myself, but I, I feel like necessary to tell you what's on my mind right now. Go for it. I would really appreciate it. And I want your honest, honest opinion. Yes. I've talked to many people about this, but I would really appreciate it if you only reward it. This is going to sound bad. Combat veterans, as you mentioned, because I've had an experience, which I don't have to reply to tell you on the air, which I've told the story a number of times, but I have an experience many, many years ago where I took a busload of veterans to a concert and took them backstage, and when I talked to them, not one of them out of the whole group had ever seen a weapon, and most of them were guys that got screwed up on drugs. A bunch of them were thrown out of the service even, you know, like seven, eight months in, and they're veterans. That's exactly right. And, and, and I tell you, bro, uh, I mean, the, the word veteran is so honored, and rightfully so. But I think there should be a small delineation uh, because of the because I think uh, civilians think the word veteran are guys like you. Well, that's exactly and, right. And they're, and they're not. And for, and for people that don't like people gaming the system, they're, they're gaming the system, the ones I'm talking about, as much as anybody. Do you yeah. understand? And that's, and what that's do you a, think? That's a broader problem um, for veterans in particular. And the reason why is they have a lot of pride. So what we see is a lot of people seeking resources, but they may not be the ones that need it the most. When we, If we were to corner a, a Marine or a soldier that's a combat veteran and say, hey, you're going through a hard time, we'd like to give you a vehicle. Fabulous. What would happen is they would say, no, no, you know, there's someone better than me that deserves it. And they would deny it. So yeah, and do, I know who ends up with it. That's exactly and then right. And I'm aggravated. That's exactly right. And I'm aggravated, and I don't think for a bad reason. So we, we surprise them. We get their stories from oh, people within the community. Nice. On Facebook, family members, uh, you know, brothers and sisters within their unit will say, hey, so-and-so is going through a difficult time. Here's their situation. And then we review those cases. And we offer assistance by way of surprise to the most severe cases. So things we look at are uh, combat, what they're going through in their life currently, and what brought them there. We want to know their character and what kind of person they are. If they did things that maybe put them in that position that they shouldn't have done, Take and it. so on. So we do it on a case-by-case -case basis, but the impact's really amazing. And you know what I see is, you know, when we look at our combat veterans when they're overseas serving, 
their minds and hearts are with us here at home. They're thinking of their mothers, their brothers, their sisters while they're serving, and, and they're heroic. I mean, our, our country would be so proud of our serving military members. But when they come home and they trip and fall, they're left alone, when really there should be a race to help them up. Anytime a veteran trips and falls, people should be racing to render aid. But unfortunately, we don't see that. So there comes a time when we, the people, have to make a difference. We can't sit around and say, you know what, the VA should do this or the government should do that. Well, the VA and the government should, don't you yes, think? Yes, yes, but the power of the people is amazing. So that's what our organization is. It's grassroots. So how did that, you, can you tell me how this even happened? Yeah, we. I, I saw a Craigslist ad last year. I had gone through a similar situation when I got home from the Marines, and a vehicle broke down. We ended up getting evicted, and it caused a whole Gosh. tidal wind of issues. Um, last year, I saw a posting on Craigslist from a of combat veteran that had returned home. His wife uh, had gotten on these drugs that these kids are all doing nowadays, and it was a bad mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. He asked her to leave, and he took care of the two kids, and he was bringing them to school and appointments and working. And then the motor blew in his vehicle. He put out a please help ad on Craigslist. Um, I figured there's so much uh, noise out there. Let me call him and find out if he's real first. Wait, wait you're confusing me because yeah. I, I thought at this point in the story you're broke. Yeah, yeah. So that was the experience that I had gone through. So when I saw the Craigslist ad, I related to it. Um, when I spoke to this veteran, I realized that he was in a bad situation and he needed a vehicle. Um, so I purchased a vehicle the next day. I didn't tell him that I purchased it. Out of your it. pocket? Yes. We, we do, we do most of this out of pocket. Um, we're a 501c3, but donations are s almost slim to none. Um, well, but a good, we're, nice we're, organization like yeah. this, you'd think you could have a nice benefit somewhere, have a fundraiser. Yeah, so actually we're in the process of that now. We're, we're trying to raffle off a vehicle that we took in. It's a Cadillac um, on our website, operationbuildup.com. Operation. Yeah. OperationBuildUp.com. Yep, so we're, we're you can trying just, to You can even just take donations there. Yes, we can take donations. We're also uh, raffling off a, um, a Cadillac with very low miles, very nice uh, vehicle. Um, on September 10th, we're going to draw it live. But, you know, when I spoke to this veteran, I went and bought a car the next day. I didn't tell him that I purchased the vehicle because I'm not a mechanic. I worked on this vehicle for the next week and a half. Um, you know, in his honor, and I was excited when it was done and it actually worked. He still call. didn't know he was getting it, right? <laughs> he had no idea. So I called his phone number, and his phone number was disconnected. So, you know, I, I started to get anxiety over the issue, and then I emailed him, and he didn't respond. My first email was, hey, I've got a great surprise for you. Give me, a, you know, email me nice. back. Nice. Um, but he didn't respond, so we fast-forward three weeks later and 100 emails later, and I'm, I'm emailing him saying, look, here's a picture of the title. Here's my address. Here's a picture of the car. Please come get it. And I never heard from this veteran again. Never. Never. And that caused anxiety yeah, that would. for me uh, as a veteran. I was close to you know, putting flyers up around the neighborhood in that area to so try and find him. you knew where he him. was? Yes, he was out from. of Canandaigua. Yes. Oh, right around here. Yes. This yes. guy. So, oh, yeah, we, we serve all of New York State, but we're based out of Huntington Falls. We've uh, surprised veterans from Buffalo to Syracuse up to this point. OperationBuildUp.com, go ahead. You got it. So, you know, we're, we're steadfast in our mission to give veterans the assistance they need in their darkest hour because a small sign of love, you know, we like to say a speck of light can illuminate the darkest places. If a veteran's in a dark place or going through a difficult time and you surprise them with a vehicle or home furnishings, it does more for their mentality than you would expect. It basically gives them a second wind. It tells them, look, we still got your six. We're right here. Your unit might be in other states, but we have veterans right here that will care about you exactly the same as your original unit did. Well, you're doing a, uh, you're, you're one of those guys Jesus is smiling at. OperationBuildUp.com, brother Justin Cogswell. I mean, are you doing this alone, or you keep saying we, but I got a hunch it's you. We have a, um, a team that we've put together. Right now I'm working out of the, my home garage, but we did acquire uh, an aircraft hangar in Bloomfield that's under construction. So once we're able to segment into that in the next few weeks, we'll be able to really incorporate the team and collaborate and allow volunteers in. We're limited as to how many volunteers we can have at this point just because it's at the house. Do you so. work at all with the VOC? Yes, we do. Uh, Alec Andrus actually sits on our board of directors uh, that we formed. So we have contacts there that are front seat. Um, and, you know, one of the most important things is within the veteran community, 
we see a lot of clicks and cliches, you know, uh, uh, veter uh, Vietnam veterans nonprofits, um, female veterans nonprofits, African American veterans nonprofits. We're really breaking down the barriers. We help all veterans. It doesn't matter if you're an Operation Iraqi Freedom veteran or if you are a Korean War veteran going through a difficult time. We surprised a Vietnam veteran with a vehicle uh, about a month ago. He was so surprised that a group of young veterans yeah. had given him a vehicle really? in his darkest hour this many years later. And, you know, we would charge our nation's enemies with any of you veterans. We've all done the same thing. We have a lot of similarities in common. So our mission is to streamline the process. As soon as we find out that a veteran needs aid, we review the story, we do due diligence on the veteran, and we are going right towards the delivery and the surprise at that point in time. No hesitation. Dan, as husband... What? So that's fantastic. Deanna's husband, David Bellavia, has a book and a movie coming out about uh, his service. And, you know, that other thing we can't talk yeah, about. Yeah, I can't talk no. about it. But uh, Justin Cogswell of OperationBuildUp.com, this is uh, something that uh, you can sleep well with, my brother. Yeah. It's a phenomenal thing. You make me look like a dirt bag. No, no. I mean, one of our... None of my guys ever... Th you know, none of... I'm, you know, for that whole generation. You know, all... You know, there's so many cats like this kid. No, well, I think the whole mentality changed, though. Back, you know, back in the Vietnam War, there wasn't as much appreciation as there should have been. No, but, you did, but, but still, no matter what you say about whatever you want to say, there were still veterans. And like him... Yet, no, I, I don't remember one of these things. These things are like he's doing are all over the joint. People, a lot of people helping, Brother Justin. Yes, and... and like you of, just mentioned, all those organizations. Absolutely. But, you know, we also want to ignite more leaders. The young veterans from my generation need to step up and take charge. It's coming time. So if you're sitting in your spider holes and thinking, you know what, maybe I'll do something or, you know, someone else will fix the problem... You know, I challenge you to step forward and help lead the pack. You know, it's time for us to move up and start taking care of the older veterans How old and start are you? taking leadership positions. I'm 34. You're getting old, bro. I'm feeling old. <laughs> yeah. I'm You're past that old. 30. <laughs> I'm You're older than Polly. No, same age, 34. Oh, I yeah, yeah. keep thinking you're 33. No. You, you graduated. I was 33 for a whole year. I know. Right, exactly. I'm 34. That's exactly right. <laughs> 34. From Connecticut. Man, you moved away from a couple of good casinos. I sure did. I sure Couple did. Couple nice ones. Just a quick question, someone. Do you do anything for families yes. of veterans? Yes. And thank you very much for bringing that up. We are steadfast in our objective to help any widow of the fallen or widower of the fallen, gold star wives, etc. Um, we will move and jump just as high and as fast um, for the for the wife or husband of the fallen if they're going through a difficult time. We'll pick up that slack. Um, so if you know. Anybody that's a widow or widower of the fallen, please go to our website, OperationBuildUp.com. Send us their story as well. Um, we are, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be there to assist them, no matter what their needs are. If it's furnishings, it's a vehicle. I mean, if we have to show up and move a TV, we'll do what it takes to get it done. Well, good for you, Justin. And I mean, I can't say that, and I can't say enough. What a fabulous thing is that you took upon yourself. Somebody texted in, I know the answer, but somebody texted in, did you ever find the guy? And that answer was no, that answer which was is no. a crazy story. Yeah, but it, you know, it, it's the same story being reverberated over and over again. Um, what I like to call my generation is the illusion of assistance. It seems like there's a lot of assistance, but there's so many hoops to jump through to get that assistance and so many qualifications, only 60% plus disability, post 9-11 or this and that. So by the time you actually get to the point where you need the aid, it's so far down the road and there's so many pitfalls. That's why we are streamlining the process. It's, there's actually no paperwork involved. We don't need a DD-214. We do our own due diligence based with uh, what's online. And we go ahead and, and we move and we, we surprise them when they least expect it. Did you ever think of staying in? Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, every veteran thought of staying in. Um, you know, it's so comes... funny. I have to say it's so you're the, funny. You're, you're the one that didn't. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, 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 believe me. Yeah. That's not true. That's the whack thing. I, I wanted to stay in, not for good reasons, but I wanted to stay in. But today, just coming in the door here, I don't even know why. I was thinking about... Because I must have ran into somebody. You know, how I would have been retired. Now, oh, I remember. It was 5 o'clock in the friggin' morning. Right. And I'm tired. And I'm coming in. And I'm going, man, if I would have stayed in, I would have been double dipping at this point. 
right. uh, and living like a fat cat. Yeah. yeah that's all I'm saying. Right. Uh, it's, you know, I mean, all I can, the other thing is, the one thing I noticed in the service, like in some jobs, but not some not, the longer, the easier for certain positions. You know, like uh, my favorite business is insurance. Because, you know, the kids that work upstairs here, every day is a brand new day, harder than the day before. The people in the business end here. But I know guys in insurance, every day is easier than the day before because what your clients, most of them stay with you forever. I'm still with my schmucks. Right. What's great about his organization is that the surprise element because oh, there's a beautiful. lot of veterans that have that survivor's guilt. Yes. And See, that's don't what he was want, saying. Yeah, that don't want help. You feel guilty that you're back. And you don't want, you wouldn't ask for a car or well, something. Did you see that text? Did that make you think yeah. of it? Yeah. Well, no, I made me think of it because I live it. But um, a combat vet, I, this is the text we had. Uh, I'm a combat vet. I made it back unharmed. I have friends who didn't make it back. Give my benefits to the families of the fallen. That's my opinion. That's exactly right. Um, you know, the families of the fallen will go the rest of their lives without that loved one. And, you know, it's very difficult. And for the veterans, even though some may say, hey, you know, I, I didn't walk away with any injuries or this and that, those uh, scars will be there and they will remain, whether they reveal themselves a year later or sometimes 20 or 30 years later. But the most important aspect is that, you know, our heroes that go overseas, our military, I mean, they're the best people that we know. These are the prom kings and queens. These are people that America are proud of. So when they trip and fall, if they're not being taken care of, it's time for we the people to step up. And I know that there's a lot of organizations, nonprofits that have abused the public's trust, but I challenge you to you know take a look at us. We're a grassroots effort. We're actually funding this uh, mostly out of our own pockets, and we volunteer our time. And this is local, although we do serve all of New York State. I'm gonna have to give you uh, Vinny Moranti's phone number. He wants to give you some money. He's a lo local. Uh Big Shot Lawyer. Oh, nice. He's going to give you a piece of cake. Oh, we could use it. And thank you for your service and for more for what thank you're you doing for now. As well. thank for you your for brothers yours and well. sisters. The Summer Savings yeah. Event, it's, by the way, I don't want to, in case you just tuned in, OperationBuildUp.com. OperationBuildUp.com. The Summer Savings Event's kicking it at Vision Buick GMC. They're your SUV and truck headquarters. Find the perfect ride and pay Zipski. Zero out of your pocket when you pick it up. Sign and drive a brand new 2017 Terrain, 229 a month. How about getting next to an all-wheel drive 2017 Acadia for 349 a month? 24 a month, 10,000 mile a year leases with approved financing and GMC rebates. How about zero security deposit, zero cash down? Tax title, registration, acquisition fees, all that crap is included. And if you got a little equity in your trade-in or a little money to put down, your payment will go even lower. Or how about if you want to buy the car or the SUV, $10,000 off MSRP on 2016 Yukons. Vision's 229 Terrains and 349 Acadias are all automatic. Got your Bluetooth, remote entry, all that good stuff. Get to Vision Buick GMC in Penfield and find out why they are the professional grade. Hurry up for the summer savings event. It's over on June 30th. Full details at visionbuickgmc.com. I'll give you that number in a second. Brother Justin, Katy Perry, next. Rochester's Radio 95.1. 24 months, 10,000 mile period leases, 25 cents per mile over. Unless you're responsible for repairs, maintenance, excess wear. Offer includes GM incentives and available lease rebates with approved financing through GM Financial. The summer savings event is on now at Vision Buick GMC, your SUV and truck headquarters. You can sign and drive a new 2017 Buick Encore, preferred for just a buck eighty nine a month. That's one eighty nine. Zero security deposit, zero cash down, absolutely nothing. Do it signing. Tax title registration, acquisition fees, everything's included. If you got a little equity in your trade in or some cash to throw down, your payment will go even lower. Vision's one eighty nine. Nine encores have been completely upgraded. Brand new grill, headlights, rims, and more. Or take advantage of 20% off MSRP when you purchase a brand new loaded 2017 Buick LaCrosse Essence. Navigation, leather interior, heated seats, moonroof, Bluetooth, and more. Experience the new Buick at Vision Buick GMC in Penfield, Rochester's number one selling Buick dealer based on 2016 sales. The summer savings event offers end June 30th. Full details at visionbuickgmc.com. 
The Wee Show on Radio 95.1 is sponsored by Rochester's favorite pizzeria, Salvatore's.com. Kuji, our super slice is as big as your head. Coupons always at Salvatore's.com. At William Matar, we are proud to be named one of 2017's best companies to work for in New York State. At William Matar, this award highlights our commitment to our team, which allows us to attract some of the best and the brightest who make a difference in our clients' lives. The firm with the focus. Hurt in a car? Call William Matar, 444-4444, Main Street, Williamsville, West Main Street, Rochester. For dads and grads, find great Father's Day and graduation gifts at Chi Light Country Club. Chi Light Country Club offers brand name golf shirts, PGA Pebble Beach, Lone Cypress, and more. Two shirts for just $25. Chi Light Golf Club has gift cards, too, in any amount.